everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I <laughs> am going to do a series on AuthorTube, starting an AuthorTube channel because I did the writing community convention with a few other ladies and we talked about an AuthorTube panel about AuthorTube and I realized we had so much left to say. Plus, we didn't really give any starter tips <laughs> and I was like, that's probably more helpful than like if you're already an author tuber and struggling or like your expectations or whatever. So this first video is going to be um, tips for starting an author tube channel. And then the second video will be uh, how to balance trends versus your passion and not get caught up in the analytics. And then the third one will be the benefits of author tube. So if you are debating um, be sure to watch that channel and then <laughs> the channel, that video. <laughs> and then the fourth one is some author tube video ideas in case you're stuck. And it's a great tool if you decide, like, well, I guess we'll just jump into it. Um, <laughs> what days you want to post or film. I've decided that um, I work half days on Fridays and so that is my uh, one half day a month. I will go in and make four videos, edit them, upload them to come out that month or the following month. Um, and I have a schedule going into that of the four I need to film that month. And so having a list of ideas or even topics that you can break down is really helpful and is a time saver for you, especially if you want to bulk film like I do and not spend so much time doing random videos or last minute videos or babbling and rambling through your videos and having a lot of edit time. So that's not even like step one, but <laughs> it's good to know what you want to talk about um, and especially what you want, yeah, on your author tube channel, what are you going to talk about? What is your niche? Um, what are you going to bring to your channel um, that others are going to want to watch or that you're just going to want to tell your story of? Um, and before we get into all that, just your channel itself. So, um, a lot of people do backgrounds like books or their writing desk or um, just on a blank wall. Uh, something that's not too like busy or distracting or like messy. Like over there's a mess <laughs> and I hope y'all can like never see it. <laughs> but um, I have a very like limited space on my setup. Um, I am using a Nikon camera DSLR but I know in like a little clip ring light thing, I used to have the umbrella lights and I could not figure them out for lighting so I gave up on that. I know people who have their computer and they'll use their phone or like they'll use their computer too but like I know people who just use their phone and have a ring light around that and they'll film that way. Um, so really you don't have to spend a lot of money especially to get started. Um, you just need like quality video quality. <laughs> um, whether that's through like a camera or a compact camera, I know people use those too, or your phone. Um, and then from there, like if your phone, I don't like editing on a phone, it's too tiny. So if you need editing software or whatever might come with your computer that you already have. Um, and then I recommend good lighting, but you can get that through being near a window, like no big deal. Um, I have noticed my videos in the beginning versus now. I have um, a little microphone that I hooked up to my camera. I think it helps a lot. Um, it sounds more clear, sounds like I'm closer to you. The other one was more distant, more echoey. Um, so like test yourself out a few times and um, see what your quality is like. Get a feel for the editing software on your computer or your phone. And if you are camera shy, Go ahead and fake record some videos or real record them and see how you do. I think my first video I redid so many times, which was just silly because like I could have edited it out. I just literally kept stopping and starting my record button. Um, but in like now, like we'll get to that in the benefits of AuthorTube video, but um, eventually it'll come really easy to you like you're talking to your best friend on camera. Um, you will, I'm terrible about this, looking into the lens so it looks like I'm looking at you directly. Uh, a lot of people stare off to the side where they see their picture. I don't do that and I need to do it more because my stupid camera auto focuses and I'm out of focus and don't even know it but I try, I try to look straight. When you do edit, try to cut out all your long pauses if you have a lot of ums or likes. 
Um, it does get distracting, but like how I just did that one, I'll probably keep it in. <laughs> if they're like quick like that, I used to try to make different thumbnails and I just stopped. Like I said earlier, I bulk film and so to switch off a shirt for every single video, to take pictures, my pictures weren't coming out good on my camera, it wasn't in focus, or I just looked like I thought I looked gross and so I just hated them. <laughs> I found like one photo that I liked and I've stuck with it on my thumbnails and if I hope it grabs your attention but if not like oh well because I'm not going to spend my time on that. I know a lot of people do really cool thumbnails and I'm just not about that life. Like you'll have to figure out what's worth it to you to do. Um, I learned that vlogs are very time consuming, uh, it takes a lot of clips, a lot of editing, and I don't have that time, so I don't do those. Um, but they are very beneficial, a lot of people love them, and you'll probably get more views that way, but it's like, we'll get to that in another video. <laughs> Four, if your fears, fears you might have about like if people will even watch you, your closest friends, or have you already built a writing community, tell them you started a channel they will put the word out, they will come to your videos and comment and like and boost and um, get you going. Um, I think I hit my first 10 and was excited, then I hit my first 50 and was excited, I got to 100 and then 500 and those were all like really great milestones. It felt like it took forever. I'm not one of those popular channels, I am a smaller channel. But eventually, if you like what you're doing, those fears are going to go away and I will tell you, your first dislike or bad comment means you've made it. <laughs> if you're wondering if you should have a script or not, I know people will take their time and make a script. I don't have time for that. Um, if I'll make like bullet points or if I'm doing a tips video, like specifically, I will have bullet points, but I won't have talking points. I won't have like paragraphs of stuff because I usually know what I'm saying. Sometimes I leave stuff out and I'll just go and add it in the description or I'll make another clip and just slide it in. Um, but I know people who like literally will read off from a piece of paper and do their vlog. I like where I'm just kind of rambly because it feels more free flow and like I'm just talking to you versus like robotically going down my list. And so I hope y'all like that. But yeah, just don't worry if you don't want to write a script or if you need a script to get through a video, do it. Do whatever like you need. Um, just be aware of your time limits and like what works best for you. Another fear like if you if you fear <laughs> or if you're in it after you start and you're like wow my channel is going nowhere, no one cares. Remember why you started it in the first place. A lot of people start it to document their own journeys which means it's for you not for your viewers. So remember that and keep going if that was your goal. If your goal is something else, if it's to monetize, if it's something, whatever, and you want to keep doing it um, and that's still your goal, then pursue how to do that. If it was to get a readership base because you want to self-publish or maybe you're traditionally published, um, then remember that that is your why, to build that base, to build um, to build in readers for when you publish and and focus more on that. But also remember that this is an author tube channel. Author tube. <laughs> like you should also be writing. Don't forget like when you get bogged down in the nitty gritty of author tube of making videos, especially time consuming vlogs, do not forget that you're a writer, that you should still be writing. Don't put writing on the back burner. If anything, put your YouTube videos on the back burner. Unless you are monetized and you put out two videos a week and that's how you earn money um, and writing is taking like a longer time, then sure, switch that up. But just remember to keep writing because that's why you started an author tube channel because you're a writer and so you don't want to just like let that go. People, if they're watching you on author tube, they care about you and your books and they want to hear about them. So if you talk about the same one for three years because you are doing videos instead of writing it, they're going to get like, what are you doing with your life, you know? <laughs> Which I think Kate Cavanaugh had a great video about that where like people were asking her about all her different projects. Granted, she has a lot that she's writing, but they're like, when are you being published? What about this? What about this? And she has other pen names. She has like um, a lot going on that people don't see, you know, in front of the camera. It's behind the scenes. And so you don't, 
you only see what we're projecting, right? So it's up to you what you show and what readers assume from that. My biggest tip, and I wish I had put this video out sooner, is to do Preptober videos and NaNoWriMo videos, especially writing sprints during November. <laughs> during November, which is why I'm putting this out in November early enough for you to hop on that train because if you're if you're nervous about starting an author tube channel or you're like, should I, should I not, do it right now. And if you do writing sprints, you won't even have to worry about camera shyness. Like, hop on there. We use StreamYard. There's a few other things you could do too. Set up tabs with a timer, with whatever. Um, practice doing that on your own before you like go live on YouTube but writing sprints are a great uh, way to pull people in um, and write with you during nano and this is like the biggest community event for AuthorTube so it's just a great time to dive in uh, make friends do sprints write a book <laughs> also Twitter is a great space to host uh, like to Go on about sprints or your books or advertise um, NaNoWriMo does sprints on there as well as probably on their YouTube channel too. Um, Instagram is a good place to go to advertise as well. And yeah, just start that community base. Just start writing. Start your author tube channel and make sure things are of good quality and that you have topics ready to go. I hope you'll join me for my second video about balancing trends versus passion. And in the meantime, go start your channel. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.